Did you know that you can edit your videos in Loom via text or trimming the actual video? In this video, I'm gonna show you a walkthrough as I do it with you watching. Scary, I know. Only because if I mess up, I, what am I gonna do? This is for people who are creating content and they're recording it, such as in the community. In our community, we, we teach people how to do these little things, and so it enhances their productivity. In this video, let's get into that aspect of it. So, in the earlier video, you saw me putting in chapter markers. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch the previous video. In this video, we're editing that video to go onto a different platform. So here, the video is already loaded, and we're using Loom, and you can check for my affiliate link down below, somewhere down below, if I ever put it there. Yeah, it's probably there. In this video now, I'm going to move me over to the side here, and you can see that I have my default chapter markers. I can go back and edit if I choose, and it already chopped up the chapters here. The video is already displayed on the screen, and there's a little piece of the video that I started, and instead of stopping and restarting, I just ended up just going through and just, I'll just edit it here. So I'm going to go to, I can edit by transcript. If it will go. All right, so I'm gonna edit off a part of my video and let's see I want to I started this piece here it says in this video and then I say in this video again so I'm going to erase from here let's take this from the comma yeah, I think I'll go from here. So I'm going to cut this out. So I can do it like this, and I can just trim it here, or I can go here. I believe this gives me a little bit more accuracy where I can just split and delete. So I'll start the video. In, in this, this video, video, I'm going, going to, to create a... <coughs> in, in this, this video, video uh, so right there, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to go back just a little bit. I'm going to split it, and I'm going to select the part that I want to delete. See, automatically it was going to delete this. I said, no, I want this part to delete. And this is how the video starts. Let's hear how it sounds. In, in this, this video, video I'm, I'm going, going to create a table of contents to post, post to the video on YouTube. This, this is for people who are content creators and they're posting the videos on the platform for YouTube. You want to have right, a table of contents so that your view... That's it. I talk slow. So I'm going to speed myself up a little bit. Now, I talk slow because I talk to different people who speak different languages. And I speak to be understood, not to sound smart. So I speak slower so I could be better understood. For those people who are accustomed to speaking the English language and they speak it fast, then they want that fast pace. I do my best to accommodate both. You're talking almost 30 years of talking to uh, speakers where English is their second language, in some case third. All right, so I have that. I trimmed it. I'm going to save it. Now, one of the challenges with this particular video is that my audio is often low, and I intentionally have to turn up my audio. In this particular case, I won't be doing that. This is the video. All I'm going to do now is share it. 
I'm gonna go to social and I'm going to share it on let's go to LinkedIn and we'll, we'll share it on LinkedIn and this is how to edit a loom that AI video done simple to the point did I create any thumbnail for it no I didn't create any thumbnail for it I'm just gonna post it just like that and voila we're done that's it for this video what I did was I showed you how to edit a loom video through the waveform through the text transcript and then also through editing the video see you in the next video remember to leave a comment let me know if you like this video and more and don't forget check out my community portal.getaikeys.com